What's up guys and welcome to the booktube channel and today I'm going to be doing a video on one of the dramas that I recently watched called 18 again and so this drama was really popular and I've been wanting to watch it for a long time but I just like didn't really feel like watching it for some reason I was like okay this is really popular I feel like I might like it I know it has some romance but I was like mm, will I I just didn't feel like watching it and so um I finally came along to watching 18 again and let me tell you guys I loved it um I cried a few times, especially on episode 15. Episode 15 broke me because um, Yeji Hoon was literally like my favorite character. And I feel like her, um, Yeji Hoon, and I forgot their name, Dae Young, Dae Jung, whatever. Um, and the main female lead, I feel like they had a lot of chemistry. So I was like, oh, they should have gotten together. But whatever. Um, who am I to say that? I guess. Uh, but then, like, I really loved her and Yeji Hoon together. But at the same time, um when they finally got together in like episode 15 16 um the main lead and the the male lead and the female lead i was like oh they're actually kind of cute so like eh, whatever um and so yeah that was the whole romance part and then there was the whole like family part too the part with at, at the beginning like in the first episode i felt really bad for him i was like oh my gosh his wife is so mean like how could they do that whatever but um throughout like watching the drama it was just like really a whole bunch of misunderstandings really like they couldn't really understand each other and they didn't really like understand what they were each other was going through especially on her side she didn't really understand what he was going through and so i'm happy that after they got back together they learned how to like you know respect each other and communicate and stuff like that because that was really nice at first i was like if they get back together will it even work anyways like i think because i'm not really sure with like the second chance romance and stuff but i was happy that when they got together again it shows that they're able to like respect each other more communicate to each other more love each other more all of that so it was really sweet um him and his kids were really cute too and him and his best friend like his best friend is such a great friend because like the way that he was able to do all of that for him and he was like oh well i mean he's helped me a lot like he's my friend like why wouldn't i and so that was really amazing for him to, like literally pretend to be his dad and stuff and so that was really cute but Ooh young was kind of <laughs> i'm talking about Ooh young not the main lead co i forgot his name not the main lead because Ooh young was kind of creepy at times like honestly and the main and the female lead was actually kind of slow because i was like girl i mean if i was in if i was in her shoes i probably wouldn't have believed it either like oh my gosh is this actually my husband but no and like my husband and teenage his body like i wouldn't really have believed it but like that you're not me you should be smarter than that like you should think wait a second they act they act a lot alike and they look a lot alike too that's kind of weird and so like he's really close to your kids and stuff and so when he finally told her the truth and she was mad i was like girl you're actually slow like weren't you even thinking that they acted alike and then they looked alike too and then she's like stay away from my children i was like girl you're so slow like ugh, so annoying it was really frustrating me i just wanted to go up there and shake her and like oh my gosh like think about it for a second it actually makes sense you know but speaking of the female lead even though she did annoy me because she was like kind of slow um when i was watching it and seeing like all his struggles and stuff it kind of like got me kind of scared honestly and it made me feel really bad for it because like i really don't understand like she's a really good worker right that's the whole point of having like a blind recruitment so that you're not blinded by all the things like age and um and education and things like that like she's a good she's good and she's talented like that's all that she, should matter and she's a diligent worker she's kind stuff like that so that's all that should matter but when they found out that she has she um she's like a wife of um when, when they found out she was like divorced and then she has two kids and stuff like that they're like and then she went to college like they're like uh 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 like please like you're a ceo not her mother like all you should focus on is having some good workers that's gonna like help whatever like help whatever your company is so i was i was kind of frustrated i didn't really understand that i was just like a whole bunch of like prejudice and stuff towards her and towards like um teenage moms and stuff because like she went through a lot too like her and what's her, what's his name her and him like when they all when they did the little flashbacks it was honestly i always i was always crying whenever they do the flashbacks and especially when they had like the flashbacks with the twins too that hurt me so bad because i was like oh my gosh that's so sweet and then the way that you can really see that he really did care for them when they were children he still cares for them now just like since they're all grown up and stuff they can't really see it so that was like really sweet and so this drama was really good i'd rate it like 
the episodes weren't that long either i don't remember the episodes being that long so i'd rate it like probably an 8 out of 10 or something like that but i thought it was a really good drama um i recommend that you guys go watch it if you haven't seen it yet 18 again um i watched it on netflix using my vpn but yeah i really loved i loved 18 again it was so good it was emotional but i had a good amount of um mystery too there was a little bit of mystery there's a lot of character development and different characters there's a lot of different themes and things like that so it was honestly a really good drama um yeah so i do recommend you watch it if you haven't watched it yet go watch 18 again let this be your sign and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye